actually Purdue, um, one of the methodology aspects at NCAID. Um, just, this is just a brief presentation uh, about how to write a background of your study. Background. So it's very important when you are thinking about writing the background, you always have to think about your audience. Who is going to read your document? Who are you going to pre present this information to? Because it will help you to present quality information that will catch their attention, that will be able to convince them the need for you to um, focus on this topic or focus on specific issue. So just a brief definition of the background of your study. The background of the study is just an overview of your study, the overview of your topic. So the question that you have to ask yourself is, what do you want your readers to know about um, concerning your topic? What, what, do you think, what do you want them to know? What do you want them to take from your topic? What do you want them to know? So there, there are about three things that you have to think about. The first one is you have to give a general information about your topic. The second one, you have to give a context of your topic. And lastly, you have to present a justification of your topic. You know, you can start with the justification of your topic and go with um, the, the, the general information about your topic and maybe conclude with the context. It depends, it, 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 the, the process or the, um, it, it doesn't matter what, where you start. The most important is, thing is that your presentation of the background should address these three issues, right? So let's first focus on the first one, which is the general information about your topic. So you have a topic, you have an issue that you are interested in doing research uh, about. It's very important for you to give a general information um, about the topic. So the question is, what is happening now about you, the issue that you want to address? What is really going on, right? You want to be really to know what is happening concerning your topic. And then the next one is to give a context. A context is given like a, a setting or the location or um, the situations that surround the topic uh, or that are related to the topic or the conditions. It's very important to give that context so that your readers will better understand what you want to study, the issues that you are interested in, the issues that you want to uh, look into or investigate. And then also you have to also talk about um, who are directly or indirectly affected or involved with respect to their topic or the issue that you want to study. So who are involved, directly or indirectly are involved, what are the conditions? It's very important to present the context so that the, you, your topic is free from any ambiguity. Your topic is it, it, it's also a way of delimiting your study. You try to delimit your topic a little bit by giving your topic a context. It's very, very important. The last one is to give a justification or justifications of your topic. Why should we pay attention to your topic? Why should we care about your topic? Why is there a need for us to focus or is it needs for, uh, for you to focus on the topic that you want to study? So these are the three issues that you want to, you have to look at as you are writing your background. And I just want to emphasize that your background is, of the study is different from the problem of your study or the purpose of your study. So the problem is the specific issue based on the, study, the literature that you have reviewed, the specific issues that you want to address in your study based on the gap in the literature. That's all about the problem. 
what problem, why, what is the specific problem you want to address in your study, right? It's very different from the background and also different from the purpose because the purpose focuses on what exactly you want to do in your study, right? What do you want to do in your study? What is the purpose of your study? What exactly do you want to carry out in this um, um, exploratory study or confirmatory study? So um, this is just a brief information about how to write a background um, of your study. So as I said, you give a general information about your study, you give a context and also you justify the topic, give a justification about the topic. I hope this information helps and thank you for your time.